Hey, I'm here with Thomas from Slingshot Bikini, all the way from Belgium. Uh, how are you, Tom? I'm fine, thank you. Um, how are you? Very good. I, I've seen you've uh, you've made some waves on uh, a Furious Wave uh, radio show, and uh, I've been following you on Instagram. And um, the the track on on that comp that you have is is really really good. Um, Full of drippy reverb. Uh, tell me, tell me a little bit about the origins of Slingshot Bikini and what you guys are trying to go for. Okay, um, Slingshot Bikini. We're a three-piece surf band from uh, Turnhout. Uh, that's Belgium, the Antwerp region. It's close to Holland, and we've been making this music since 2006. Um, the band consists of me my brother who plays bass and Nick, the drummer. And as service intended, we use uh, absolutely no vocals. We do fill it up with um, movie samples and we're mostly been doing live shows all over Belgium, Holland, some parts of uh, France. And that's what we do. And since, uh, We've been together since 2006, and lately we've been re, uh, yeah, recording ourselves and putting some music out. We did that a long time ago, but we found the energy and the time to do that again. So that's what we do. Excellent, excellent. What are what are some of the when you hear back the stuff you've written? What are some of the comparisons that you make to yourselves about what your music sounds like? Um, I, I tend to lean towards the English surf music. Surf music for me uh, would be the Ventures, Dick Dale. It's American sounding, but in Europe we have the Shadows. And also, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, Indo Rockers, like Andy Tillman and the Tillman Brothers. And my dad's from Holland and he would listen to that stuff a lot so i guess some of that uh is grown into my uh, dna if you will so it's, it sounds really natural for me the uh the guitar from uh hang b marvin it's it's the it's more echoey less reverb maybe not the sound i use personally but i i like the the way the songs are built up of the shadows so that's kind of the music that we, we uh, switch resonate in our sound. It's what we try to bring over. There is a a, a lot of uh, instrumental, and especially surf bands who, who cite the uh, the shadows as an influence. But yeah. you specifically talked about the song structure and how it's built up. What specifically is it that makes them different about the way they write a song? Um, without getting too technical, a lot of uh, surf even nowadays it's built up like a blues schedule, 12 bars, and then we go back to the one. And uh, the shadows typically wouldn't use that. They would mix up major with minors and, and get uh, harmonies that are kind of more complicated, but a lot more uh, oftentimes uh, they would stick in your head. And, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm not saying I'm doing it, but it's something I would I would uh, like to think that I do. That's really what we're going for. Excellent, excellent. Um, so I noticed um, more so than a lot of bands, there's also a traditional aspect to your, um, as far as modern surf bands go, more traditional sense. Um, but still really heavy reverb, really, really super drippy. What, oh, yeah, what it's, it's something uh, I, I, I like surf music and I, I went to see a lot of uh, bands. Yeah, I still do, but but uh, I, I like the attack of Dick Dale. I saw Dick Dale live and, and really the, the way he hits the thick strings and, and really digs in. That's what I want to go for. Same, I saw Slack Tone, I saw... The Untamed Youth, they all have that punchy bass notes, the, 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 the really tight sound. That's what I'm going for. And in that aspect, we don't reference the shadows at all. It's just that, 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 that reverb sound, that really tight bass. 
that's what we we want to have as a sound so it's it's actually not song structure but the sound we're more leaning toward that side yeah what is uh what is the unit that you use for your reverb i use the um traditional uh fender reverb tank the reissue the brown one and i think the sound it's it's combination of uh the chess master with the tremolo uh flat wound strings really thick ones uh to, I, I sometimes use 13 to 60 it's ridiculously thick it's, um more heavier than an acoustic guitar but but they get that poppy sound and then into a, a super reverb with uh, 10 inch speakers but i also have a um, modern twin reverb with a 15 inch speaker so if the venue lets me put it hard, loud enough, I can get that punch. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 uh, with those things, my sound is guaranteed. If I'm using someone else's stuff or if the venue is smaller, I have to see what I can do. But yeah, if I had my way, I'd always be playing those things. Yeah, yeah. What, what's that guitar behind you? Can you show us? Oh yeah. Uh, well, maybe I should mention I'm uh, the guitar player in the band and I play the guitar upside down. It's uh, wow. the way. I saw it. It's very interesting. Uh, Dick Dale also have the as the thick string on the bottom of his hand, the thin string on the top, and I do that too. It's because my dad, he's a guitar player from way back. He still is, and he, he was a great guitar player. He had a house full of guitars. Me being born a left-handed, wasn't gonna buy a cheap Squire and and learn on that. So I want to play all these guitars. Yeah, so I pick his guitar up and, and it's upside down and stuck with it for all my life. But uh, that's how it is. And 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 it sort of pops in the eye if you use a guitar a Fender upside down. Seeing Jimi Hendrix, I couldn't use a Stratocaster, obviously. <laughs> Too much connection there. But I'm quite happy with this one. It's a Open Fender up. Chess Master. I'm going to show it. It's a Chess Master The Ventures the Signature. You oh, see the wow. sticker, and mm -hmm. it has a really big blocks here. It's a, it's a 90s thing. If if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a silver burst color. Um, when I first bought it, it was a couple of hundred euros, and recently I've seen them in a couple of thousand by now. So wow. I should be more careful with it. But I, I love it, and I would have a hard time replacing it if it was everything. Everything would happen to it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the the stuff you're recording right now, this interview is going to air in October. Mm -hmm. So when is the recordings that you're doing right now, when are they going to be released? Um, we're recording two things. One is to be released in a month or so, I think. There will be a single on the flip side with uh, Bad Samaritans, uh, Lonnie Kalula's Bad Samaritans. Uh, it's a Belgian band on Pang Pang Records. It's a local label. Okay. We're really proud of that. Uh, also worth mentioning, we get the artwork done by an American, um, by Jimbo Phillips okay. of uh, Santa Cruz Skateboards fame. Really yeah. proud of that. And uh, that's that's the, the first coming release. And then later this year, we'll have the new album or EP. We're looking into that and it will be yeah, we're still recording that. We, I, I think we got three songs ready, already recorded, but some more material needs to be finished. So that's more out in the open. But I believe the, the singles are about to be pressed and the artwork is about to arrive. Really excited about that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk to or, or mention that I haven't spoken about before we uh, sign off? Um. Yeah, it, it, it's the thing, and I get asked about it a lot. It's it's we're a surf band, and and most surf bands we we play live. That's yeah, it's more live work than than selling records, just the way it is. And we play uh, say in a show fifty percent covers, but it's not really covers. We we work on other people's material, and a lot of people think, oh no, it's a cover band, but we're not a cover band. It's just it's in the tradition of surf music that bands would really play 50% of the set as a cover so people would have a reference. Because the thing as a surf live band you're fighting with is the attention span of the listeners, of the audience. 
And if you bring bring in instrumentals that people can cling on to, that they know the melodies, you can get the audience attention. And and if you play an hour long show with all uh, own material that no one ever heard, it's going to be really hard to to cling to their attention. So, and that's something we're fighting with. And that's the reason we play more of half covers. But it's it's original. Dick Dale would do that. Vengeance would do that. Shadows would do that. Even Django Reinhardt. It's all covers. So it's it's normal to play covers, but it's something you're kind of yeah looked down upon by punk bands. They don't play covers or not so much. But but it's something yeah people should know that <laughs> that's a thing server bands do. Yeah, cool. cool. Thought it was worth mentioning. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, I want to thank you so much, Thomas, for uh, coming on the show. And uh, I look forward to you uh, possibly doing some more videos for us and, uh, you know, listening to more recordings coming up at the end of the year. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for uh, giving us the exposure and giving other bands the exposure because it's really nice for us to see how other bands are doing, how they are talking about it. It's, it's quite refreshing. No, thank Glad you said this is there, out there. Awesome. Well, you have a great day then. Thank you.